Welcome back to Addicted and to this titanium gravel bike that I've got sat behind me. So this isn't my bike, it's the owner of my local bike shop, Albion Cycles. He's kindly lent me his pride and joy for the weekend and it's my first time riding titanium so I thought I'd share that with you. I've been for a 30 mile spin, I'll show you the bike in action and then we'll have a walk around. So let me introduce you to the bike. Before we dive into the frame set, I'll just take you around and show you some of the components. So this bike's got SRAM Force uh, axis levers, shifters, and it's got uh, paired up with a Eagle cassette and mech. So it's road at the front, mountain bike at the rear. It's a one by 12 drivetrain, and as you can see, it's got that 52 cassette at the back, so plenty of gearing. It's got a nice set of carbon rims from Novatec, I believe, uh, who I thought only made cheaper end stuff, but these feel really high quality, nice decent sized hubs that handle everything that I've thrown at it. So let's dive into the frame itself. So the frame builder is Jay Gwillem, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's the guy that was behind Van Nicholas Titanium Frames. He's now working out of Mallorca and all his bike names are actually places in Mallorca. Obviously passionate about what he does. He only works with titanium and he's put a little grid reference of the place on the uh, seat tube. Some parts of the frame are cast titanium. So the head tube with the, this tapered head tube with the entry port for the internal cable routing. Also around the bottom bracket uh, with this unique shape into the chain stays where it meets the chain stays for extra tire clearance. It's also just really nicely put together when you look at the, uh, the dropouts with the logo in there. Yeah, really, you can tell there's a lot of craftsmanship gone into this. The bridge is a really pretty little thing. It's uh, The frame set's got uh, mudguard mounts and I think just the classic design of it, I think it would equally look as good as a road bike as it does as a gravel bike. So throw some 700C tire wheels on there, uh, some semi-slicks maybe for winter with some mudguards and I think you'd quite easily live with it as a winter road bike. So the beauty of titanium is it's a low density, really high strength metal. 
So great for making a bike out of. It doesn't corrode. In fact, there is no paint on it. So titanium bikes to me look best when they're left like this. Not even got any lacquer on. So the beauty about that is you're never gonna get any stone chips because there's nothing to chip. This is the actual raw material. If you do get a scratch, then it just goes with the brushed finish to be honest. But if you get a really bad one, you could sort of use some really fine wet and dry and rebrush it. So obviously titanium on a frame is all about ride quality and I can tell you that it's not a gimmick having ridden it. My first impressions within a few miles were it's very very smooth and after 30 miles it's handled everything I've thrown at it and much more comfortable than an alloy frame and a carbon frame so yeah top marks for ride quality the best way i can describe it is if you were to let sort of five to ten psi out of your tires yet not lose any of the the firmness from your tire that's the kind of ride quality improvement you get it's much smoother and on gravel everything i've sent it down today i've managed to stay in the saddle which is obviously important it's one of your control points one of your contact points with the bike so really important that you can stay in saddle on a gravel bike to shift your weight around move backwards when you need to brake heavy on loose surfaces uh, and move forwards when you want to put that extra square your hip angle up and put that extra power down so yeah it makes a lot of sense when you can stay planted in the saddle and just soak all the rough stuff up the forks are carbon i think they're their own carbon forks uh, through axle with a flat mount for a 160 rotor at the rear you've got flat mount for the caliper again but only a 140 rotor so it could be a bit of a negative if you want to look for a negative but i didn't have any problems with the performance of the brakes so the bike without pedals weighs in at 10 and a half kilos which is exactly the same as the top stone uh, the frame on this is just as touch under two kilos by the time you've got all the hanger and everything on there But the top stone is about 15 1600 grams So it's actually heavier than the top stone, but you wouldn't know it riding it In fact, it feels it just hides its weight so well So I haven't got the same gripe about this extra weight of a titanium frame as I once had It certainly wouldn't put me off and it really to say these are the exact same wheel size in fact, the exact same tires as the top stone, which now feels much more like a mountain bike. This rolled still like a road bike, really nice and smooth and just, yeah, put its power down lovely. So yeah, don't worry about the weight of the titanium, it turns out, you just enjoy the ride quality. Big question, would I buy one and am I converted? Well, yes, I would buy one and I'm gonna miss, definitely gonna miss how this bike rides because it isn't a myth that titanium rides like nothing else it turns out so i am going to miss it i'm going to look for one i don't want to spend two to three thousand pounds on one just yet uh, so but if one comes uh, in my size cheaper than that and I, I spot one a bit of a deal then i'll definitely be having it i'm not worried about the extra weight of a titanium frame anymore they hide the weight so well it's worth living with for that extra ride quality so yeah, you'd have to say I'm converted and you'll probably see one on the channel in future. So yeah, thanks for watching this one. Stay tuned for the next video, which is coming this week. Uh, I've just bought a Marin um, cross-country bike. So kind of in between mountain biking and gravel. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit the notifications and yeah, thumbs up for us. See you on the next one.